had a lot of people asking me recently if they can use Oxide on their Rust server and still remain on the community server directory. The answer to that question, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully answer some of the questions and problems that you guys might come across as you're setting up your servers. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as turning on all notifications so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. So as we all know, as soon as you add Oxide to your server, you're automatically going to land on the modded directory. So if you have a look here, I've searched for my YouTube test server. And of course, there is Oxide installed on that server. So of course, I'm showing up in the modded category. Well, today I'm going to show you how to change the Oxide configuration file so that you show up on the community list instead of on the modded list. Here I am on my Pterodactyl dashboard provided to me by IcedHost.com. We're going to go into the file manager. We're going to navigate to the Oxide folder. And then at the very bottom here, you can see this Oxide oxide.config.json. This is the file that we're going to deal with today. When we open up the oxide.config.json file, this is what you'll see. Let me zoom in on this so that you can have a better look. So this switch right here, it's actually the second line on the config file, obviously called modded. If we change this to false, and then of course save the file, and then restart the server, this will actually make it so that this server will no longer show up on the modded tab, but it'll show up on the communities tab. So it's a very small and very simple change that you have to make to your Oxide config file that will make it so that you show up on the community tab. I'm just going to quickly restart this server so that I can show you that it actually worked. And then I'll explain some of the problems that you might come across if you decide to do this. Okay, so after a successful restart, you can now see right in my console it actually says this server is currently listed under community. Please be aware that face punch only allows admin tools, which basically means that you can't use any plugins that alter the gameplay for your server, which means no gather rate, no loot controllers, no end teleportation, nothing that affects the actual gameplay of your server. So what can you use on this? And as you can see here, my YouTube test server now shows up under the community tab. Before it was shown under the modded tab, now it's shown under community tab. So it's done exactly what it is that we're trying to do here. So of course that leaves you with the question, okay, what plugins can I use now that I'm shown under the community tab? Well, anything that is admin related. So anything that's gonna help you administrate your server, that's things like Vanish, so that you can follow potential suspects around without them knowing that you're watching them. You can use admin radar to help you find these suspects that you might be looking for. There's a multitude of different things that you can use as long as you keep in mind that none of the plugins that you're planning on using are altering the gameplay for regular players. There are some plugins out there that kind of fall in the gray area. A good example of that would be like no give notice. So I'd be very cautious with using plugins like that. So the reason why I'm giving you this as a caution is because if face punch finds out that you're using plugins on your server that are altering gameplay and you've shown up on the community tab, they can actually blacklist you, your server, your IP address. They could pretty much blacklist everything about you so that you could never host another server again. They have made it abundantly clear that they don't want people to do this and abuse the system. So if you're going to do this, you're basically going to be running a 100% vanilla server. You just want to be able to use Oxide to help with your admin tools. So that is the biggest caution and warning I can give you about doing this is don't alter gameplay. Don't do anything that's going to make face punch look at you and think, okay, is this guy actually being legit or is he trying to skirt the rules somehow? Just be very, very careful with the plugins that you're using. I cannot stress this to you enough. I, of course, I'm going to go back and change this back so that I appear on the modded list because while I'm recording videos, of course, I'm using different plugins that do alter gameplay. So I don't want to get this server blacklisted by face punch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so that's it. It's super simple. That's how you make it so that your server shows up on the community list, even though you're actually using Oxide. Just remember that you absolutely cannot use any plugins that modify gameplay in any way, shape or form. If you'd like to become a patron and throw some support towards the channel, you can check me out at patreon.com slash srtbull. Once you do that, I'll actually display your name just like you're seeing on the right hand side of the screen right now. This is my current list of patrons right now. I super appreciate the support. Thank you for everything that you guys do to help me keep this channel alive and bringing everyone even better and better content every week. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Throw me that thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to join my Discord, make sure you check out the link in the video description down below. We're getting really, really super close to a thousand members, which is pretty exciting. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Be safe, take care of each other, make good choices. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.